Hey everyone, I'm back. I want to do the review on the iSound pop drop speaker again because there was a few things I missed out. And what I'm going to do differently this time out is um, compare it to the sound of my smartphone by itself and also the uh, big Klipsch speaker right here. So let's get this thing started. So like I said, I got this speaker because I got tired of being in a noisy environment like inside the gym and I'm trying to show some friends or clients of mine these some funny uh, videos or things like that. And with most smartphones like this Note 4, I have to do this sometimes when it gets noisy. So I cup the back where the speaker is right here to try to redirect the sound. And that's on most smartphones because uh, most of your smartphones all have their speakers on either the back right here <clears throat> or let's see. This is my Note 3. The speaker is down here on the bottom and this is how it is on the new uh, Galaxy S6, S6, S6 Edge and the iPhones, iPhone 6, 6 Plus. The only phone, the only phones that have the speakers up in front, I don't know why manufacturers don't do that, is put the speakers up front right where you can like hear the sound directly is uh, the HTC ones, 1 M7, M8, M9 and also the a few of the Motorola phones the I think the Nexus 6 and the uh, Moto G Moto X maybe so I got this so that because it's so tiny I was thinking about getting a JBL clip but the clip is way bigger than this it's probably about like the size of like my note about like this part of the note and it comes in a package like so this is a hard plastic and uh, it's very easy to open all you do is remove like a, a plastic on one side and on the bottom and you can get it open so it says I sound pop drop licorice is the color which is black big sound three hours of playtime volume control and then on the back it says I sound go anywhere pop drop speaker <clears throat> there were no specs inside the box you get the uh, this micro USB cable which looks very short so you can plug this into an outlet but for an outlet it'd probably be really short so I think they say to plug it into your laptop to recharge it or your uh, desktop but you know it doesn't really matter if this is short because I have like so many extra micro USB cables lying around. You could even use the micro USB cable on your smartphone if you have an Android phone and um, or any other phones except for iPhones. So it comes with an instruction manual or user guide, a catalog on uh, the other products that they have and then your warranty card and that's about it okay so let's go through a walk oh wait let's do the size comparison so this is the note 4 this is the uh, I sound the I sound I don't know if it's showing on camera but it's 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 a stereo sound little mini tiny Bluetooth speaker it has two um, speakers I guess if you can see there's one here and one there or this could be like a speaker up top and a passive subwoofer on the bottom I'm not sure or the subwoofer could be back here <clears throat> there's the uh, clips right here let me uh, move this up again here is a uh, like a credit card and this is my old 
<clears throat> Yui Boom speaker that stopped working because the mic, uh, the the micro USB uh, cable broke, or yeah, the the little attachment for the micro USB cable broke. So there is a size comparison. Klipsch KMC3, UE Boom, the original UE Boom, Note 4, the I, I, I Sound Pop Drop, and a credit card. Okay. Alright. Enough of that. Let's go through a little walkthrough. So, like I said, it, it, there's two, it seems like two speakers right there. One could be the main speaker, one could be a subwoofer. You have an LED light here <clears throat> that will blink white and blue when it's looking for a Bluetooth connection. It'll be a solid blue when the when it connects. It's red when it's charging and it's supposed to be off when it's fully charged. When if it's off while you're charging it. Um I didn't mention and I forgot on the side here you have an auxiliary in so you don't really need Bluetooth or wireless you can plug it into your smartphone or your laptop and then there's the micro USB connector right here and it says 5 volt in to charge it around the top nothing around the side you have the microphone here and then back is where all your controls are so right here is your single power button right here these three buttons right here have secondary functions and I forgot to mention that so the first button here is your play pause button but it also works as your speaker in call button if you can see up close right there there's like a phone symbol on it the second button is your minus volume button and also your um, go back button or go back one track button and then the uh, <clears throat> the last button the fourth button is your volume up button and also your you know skip track forward button um, if you wanna play pause you'll hit long you'll hit the the what is it the, the top functions right here for tracks it's a long press so if I long press this it'll play it or pause it if I long press this one the minus button right here it'll go back to a song if I long press this fourth button the plus button it will go forward a song if I click the this second button real quick it'll answer a phone call if I get a phone call if I click fast uh, or if I yeah if I just tap lightly tap the minus button it'll uh, the volume will go down if I quick tap or yeah quick tap the um, the plus button the volume will go up so those are your buttons there's no specs on the website on um, I sounds website so I don't know what how many watts this little speaker is I do know the Klipsch is about like 40 watts and I don't know how many watts is on this small little speaker on the back of my Note 4 so <clears throat> all I know is this has pretty good stereo sound for such a tiny little Bluetooth speaker so it pairs very easily much easier than the Klipsch as you guys will see um, so let's do a sound check or a sound comparison of all three. Okay, so my phone is on. I don't have a like a bass booster or equalizer on right now. This is just default, okay? One thing also, when you first turn this on, the pop drop, it always goes to the default volume, which is like 50 or 60%. That's probably to get more battery life. When I first hit this button, the power button right here, you're going to hear a chime right there. And then it'll blink because it's looking for the pairing or the connection to the smartphone. And it'll pair automatically. Right there, you heard that sound. It's already paired.
Okay. So I'm about a feet away. And I'm going to play the same tracks that I played last time. Just so no copyrighted tracks, just so I don't get the warning from YouTube. Let's see. So I'm going to play this first, the pop drop, and then my smartphone because it'll if I turn this off it'll be playing on the smartphone and then the uh and then the clips. Here we go. See. So I'm gonna have to hit this plus button to get it louder. And then I'm gonna go full volume on my uh, phone. Is it full volume now? Here I'm going to turn it off. It's the note four full volume. And we're going to go to the clip. And this is the problem I have with the clips. See, I'm I'm have to go to settings because they don't automatically connect. I'm gonna go hit the clips right there. Wait for that sound, and now it's connected. And go back to this. <laughs> Okay. Now I know it's not a fair comparison because this is a way bigger speaker, right? Um, let's do the one more and we're done. Uh, the uh, trailer for Hercules. Because <clears throat> you get voice and you get bass on there. Where is my trailer? Okay, so I'm gonna. This is gonna be playing right now since because I, I don't want to reconnect it. The clips first to the uh, the pop drop and then the phone itself. Connected. I didn't even have to go to my phone settings. Turn this. Turn the volume back up on this thing.
I think that's it. No matter how far you go, man cannot escape his fate. Who are you? Are you a murderer? Are you a mercenary who turns his back on the innocent? We believe in you. Okay. Now the phone. Is that the phone? Where's the phone? Are you only the legend or are you the truth? Behind the legend. Now, tell me, who are you? I am Okay, so that was a quick sound comparison between all three. The bigger Klipsch KMC3, my smartphone, and the uh, pop drop. <clears throat> and I also went into more detail on the features of this uh, pop drop. Oh, before I forget, because you guys, I can't do the in. I, I, well, I could do a call, a call test. <laughs> But what we'll just do is, um, I'm going to go back to my music and we're going to, I'm going to show you how it, uh, how you skip tracks on this, um, on this speaker. Let's go turn this on again. So that's the phone sound right now. I'm waiting for this to connect. Hit the volume again. So I long press it. It's gonna go back. I don't know what song is on there, so I might get that warning. Did I switch it? I think I just paused it. Yeah, I paused my track right here. Oh, I turned it off. Did I turn it off? I I accidentally turned it off. Oh, man. Well, everything was going smoothly. Okay, so I'm going to forward it, right? Let's forward the track real quick. Because it did work. There you go, see? Now the track changed. I'm still on this one. And I can go back. Okay. So those are your uh, media features right there. So now that's more into detail. Okay. So we're going to sign out right here. I'm going to rock out to this on the way out. So everybody, thank you for watching and have a great day.